My name is Christina Page. Um, my son, David Jackson Page, was um, 20 years old. He um, woke up on September 29th of this last year and um, had recently found out that his son was stillborn. Um, he was autistic. He had Asperger's and didn't know how to respond to something so emotional. The police came out at 8 o'clock in the morning um, to check on a noise complaint and decided to leave him alone because he was only destroying his own property inside the apartment. They called me and my mother. We confirmed that he was at home by himself. There was nobody else there. He wasn't armed. He had a BB gun. They went back out at 11 for another noise complaint. He told them, get a warrant or get fucked. Excuse me, direct quote. And so they left. They came back out at three. They were standing around in the parking lot with four agencies, Monument Police, Palmer Lake Police who responded to help, the state troopers, and eventually El Paso County SWAT. They stood in the parking lot for about 90 minutes and then got bored. During that time, they never called to him. They never reached out to him. They didn't make a phone call. And I was standing a block away. When SWAT decided to move, they jumped in their bear cap. They pulled it up to his sidewalk and they shot him through the face and twice in the chest 90 seconds later as my best friend and I stood a block away and my mother who he lived with was less than a mile away. Since then, the police in our county have lied. They've hidden evidence. They've asked us not to talk to the news. Luckily, I've had the opportunity to connect with a local news station in Colorado Springs who has followed us since day one and has told our story. It's very different than their story. Yeah. I didn't know that um, this happened. In fact, I, I organized the Back of Blue Rally for Colorado in 2015. I had no idea. But over the last couple of years of watching the news and seeing what happens when you miss court for a $50 dog ticket, and have to wonder if you're going to be kidnapped out of your car and then at the next missed yellow light. My worldview changed, yep. but nothing like this. In September, when he was killed, they asked us, they detained us at the police station. Um, they made us go to the police station and wait in the parking lot for four hours. And we were only notified when the newspaper asked us for comment. And I still didn't think that that's really how it was. I figured that they had made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And I remember those first couple of weeks feeling so alone. Like nobody could possibly understand what we were going through. People know what it is to lose a loved one, but then you lose your child, then you lose your child to, to violence, and then it's at the hands of the people that still watch. I got pulled over 19 times in the first 21 days. Wow. I drive 400 miles a day, folks. A process server and a bounty hunter. Oh. Drive 400 miles a day all over the state of Colorado. I haven't been pulled over by anyone else in the three years that I've been doing this job. <coughs> Only the police that killed my child. Yes. So I really want to thank everybody for being here, particularly Donna and Kim for inviting me. I think it's absolutely disgusting that there are enough of us that we can hold a conference. But I am so, so, so grateful that you guys are here. I, um, makes me not quite feel alone. So, um, I also want to say something very, very quickly, 30 seconds. Um, through this, I've started a nonprofit called the Marley Foundation. David's best friend was a four year old red eared slider turtle. It was his service turtle. <laughs> Swat smushed Marley on the way in to kill my son. Oh my god. Oh god. 
So I decided to um, start a nonprofit foundation to address militarized police response to mental health crisis in our country. I don't think that this is a black issue or a white issue. This is a human issue. And um, I want to stand with all of you while I do this. I've been building businesses and nonprofits for more than a decade. I didn't ever think I would have to build this one. Um, if any of you need help or want to reach out or join together so that we can push forward with this, I'll stand with you 100%. You guys want to stand with Marley? I absolutely welcome you. Um, my goal is for our loved ones' names not to be forgotten.